Right, this is a quick video to show how we're going to find the Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient, otherwise known as R, on your calculator. So we've got this data here in this question, and what we're going to do is we're going to plug that into our calculator and see how we can find the correlation coefficient. So what we do is we go menu 2 for the stats. And what we're going to do is we want to do calculations, and we've got two variables. When you're doing correlation, you're looking at an X and a Y correlation. So therefore, you want two variables. Before you do this, check your settings. So look at the two variables. What we've got is list 1 is the X values, list 2 is the Y values, and we're saying we're going to have one of each pair. Okay. With the one variable here, you've got list 1, you've got the frequencies 1. You can change the frequency to be a column. So we could change, if we're going to have more than one of those pairs, we could change list 3 to be the frequency if we wanted. But it's not likely you're going to have more than one of any pair. But that's what you could do if you had frequencies. So um, let's just go exit, because that's all OK. List 1, list 2, our X and Y values, and we have one of each. So we click on two variables, and we don't have any data yet. So let's just press exit, and let's just type out data in. Put our X values in. First, so we've got 0.224 for the y values in. And then we just go through and check that we put the right data in. Okay, so I've put the right data in. And what we can do is we go through to the calculations. We're doing two variables. There's my x variable, there's my y variable. So we're going to two variables and we've put the mean of x and the mean of y. The line of best fit always goes through the mean of x and the mean of y. So plot that point before drawing any line of best fits. So if you've got the points, always put them into the calculator, get x bar and y bar, and draw your line of best through, fit through that. They'll make it a better one. But even better, if we exit from this, is if we do the regression, x, x plus b, so A is the gradient of our line, and B is the y-intercept. We can see that the gradient is going to be nearly 1, and the y-intercept is almost 0. Um, and the r-value is 0 0.94. Okay, so very strong positive correlation, very close to 1. Gradient is equal to 0 0.95. The y-intercept is very close to 0. The r-squared value, this means that we can identify that 89% of the y variable is accounted for by the x variable is what that stands for.